Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. And make sure to stick until the end of the problem, where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have 4 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x is equal to 1. So now 4 here, I'm going to rewrite as 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x is equal to 1. So I simply just substitute in 2 to the power of 2 for 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times n. And m and n are interchangeable, meaning this is also equal to a to the power of n times m. And if a to the power of m times n is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n, this means that a to the power of n times m is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So in simpler terms, a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So in this case, we can think of 2 as m and x as n. So now if I switch these two places, I get 2 to the power of x to the power of 2. Now I have minus 2 to the power of x is equal to 1. So now I'm going to subtract both sides by 1. These two cancel out. Now I'm left with 2 to the power of x to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to let y equal 2 to the power of x. So now I have y squared minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. So now to solve this, I'm going to be using the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 1, and c is equal to negative 1. So now I have negative negative 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 1 all over 2 times 1. So now this is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus, or sorry, plus 4 all over 2 times 1 is 2. And now this is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. So now this gives me two solutions. I have 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2, and I have 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. However, this is the value of y. Remember that we set y equal 2 to the power of x. So now, let's first start with if y is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So we know that y is equal to 2 to the power of x. So if these two are equal to each other, then we have 2 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So now, to solve this, I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 2 to the power of x is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. Now, an important property of logarithms is that if I have something to form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this can equal b times log a. So in this case, for log 2 to the power of x, I can move x to the front. So this is going to equal x times log 2, which is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. Or sorry, it's going to equal log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. Now, if I divide both sides by log 2, these two cancel out, and I'm left with x is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 over log 2. 
So now this is the same thing as log base 2 of 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. Because if I have something in the form log a over log b, this is simply equal to log base b of a. So this is my solution. Now, remember how there was another solution. If y is equal to 1 minus square root of 5. So if this is true, then I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. However, 1 minus the square root of 5, that's going to be negative. And this means that 2 to the power of x has to equal a negative number. And you can't take the power of a positive number and make it a negative. So meaning this has no solution. So our only solution is x is equal to log base 2 of 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. Now, right here, I want to find the value of x. So to start, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 3 to the power of x plus 1, this is going to equal 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of 1. And this is equal to 12. Now 12, I'm going to rewrite as 3 times 4. And now, as you can see, since both sides have 3 in them, I'm going to simply divide both sides by 3. So then these two cancel out and these two cancel out. And now I'm simply left with 3 to the power of x is equal to 4. Now 4 here, this is the same thing as... 2 to the power of 2. Now, if I take the log on both sides, I have log 3 to the power of x is equal to log 2 to the power of 2. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, it's going to equal, well, I can now move my exponent b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, log 3 to the power of x, I can move x to the front. And log 2 to the power of 2, I can move 2 to the front. So these are going to equal x times log 3 and 2 times log 2. Now I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by log 3. So then these two cancel out, and now I'm going to be left with x is equal to 2 times log 2 over log 3. Now, the value for log 2 is equal to 0 0.301, and log 3 this is equal to 0 0.4771. So now I have 2 times 0 0.301 over 0 0.4771. Now 2 times 0 0.301, that's going to equal 0 0.602 over 0 0.4771, which is equal to 1.26. So this is my answer.